All right, so I have showed you uh, how to adjust the float level. Now it's time to realize what actually controls what. It's not magic, it's not hard, it's real simple. And I'm just gonna show you the components, what their functions are, then I'll go to step number two, how to properly choose the correct pilot jet. Pilot jet is from zero throttle to a throttle only, and also has an air mix or fuel mix screw and that's what determines what size pilot jet to run the pilot jet is right in that little hole always use the correct components for the specific carburetor then after quarter throttle or eighth throttle is your needle and you see there's little grooves on it and typically they come on number four spot one from the bottom which is richest as you go up the numbers it would be three, two, one. One is the highest, the top point, which is the leanest. So this controls quarter throttle to three quarter throttle only. Right? One, two, three. Your main jet is from three quarter throttle to wide open throttle only. That's it, that's their function. Now you're familiar with your carburetor. And then I'll explain how to choose the proper idle jet, pilot jet, or whatever the hell you, air mix jet, whatever you want to call the fucker. If it's a fuel mix screw, it'll be on the front of the carburetor. Everything's the opposite with the fuel mix. We're talking about an air mix screw on the back of the carburetor and how to choose the proper pilot jet next. That's step number one after you check your float level. Gotta go.